Hi everyone, happy virtual school day. Uh, we're here again, we're having a fish of the day. And today's fish of the day, billfish. We're talking about billfish. What am I talking about billfish? Fish have a, they have a, they have a big long, oh, here's my terrible drawing. Uh, fish, they have a big long, a big long bill. I'm talking about marlin. I'm talking about swordfish. I'm talking about sailfish. You know what I'm talking about? They have one of these things. Now, if we were in class, I'd ask you, why? Why do they have something like this? First of all, a couple of people would give the wrong answer. They'd say, ah, they have a big long thing like this uh, to stab fish. I would say, if you stab fish and their mouth is down here, how'd they eat the fish? They would have a big long fish kebab, but then there's mouth down here and they wouldn't be able to eat it. So then I gotta go back to my terrible drawing. Why? Why do they have a big, long bill? A big, long, sharp, strong bill? Ah, the answer is two answers. One, if you're a drag racer, you know what the answer is. Well, by having a big, long bill and air, again, it's called aerodynamic. But in water, it's called hydrodynamic. By having a big, long bill, what they're able to do is they're able to split the water. And they have a long, slender body that's very hydrodynamic. The water really doesn't touch the body that much. And like the tuna, they have a crescent tail. That's the fastest tail that they can have. I'll give you some numbers about how fast these fish are in a little bit. Uh, what type of a reproduction do they have? They're oviparous. They lay eggs. Uh, you know, their mouth, they don't have any teeth in their mouth. So they're out there and they're eating forage fish. They look for small fish. They chase them down and, and then they eat them. Which brings me to the second purpose of having a big long bill. Well, they're going to go up to the forage fish. The forage fish are going to get scared. What do forage fish do when they get scared? You're right. They swim around in a tight, tight ball. And when they swim around a tight, tight ball, then what the billfish do is they go in the middle of that ball. And with their big, long bill, they use as a club. They'll swim right through it, and they'll just be whacking the forge fish in the head. It'll give a whole bunch of them a concussion. They'll fall out of that, uh, that bait ball, and then the um, uh, billfish will go underneath it and eat it. All right. Uh, these things, I wanted to uh, just take a couple quick notes on how each one is different. The marlin, how it is different is it has a round bill. Now, the marlin, I'll give you some numbers about the size. They're huge. They're big. They can get up to 16 feet long. <laughs> they can weigh 1,400 pounds. Oh, man. Uh, marlin are a lot like uh, halibut. Think about it. Think about it. How are marlin like halibut? The males are smaller than the females. It's the females that get really, really big. If you catch a thousand pound marlin, you probably caught her. If you catch a 200 pound marlin, it might be a him. Uh, marlin, uh, they live uh, very solitary lives. They're out there swimming all by themselves. They like the warm water, so they're going to be around the equator. Maybe up 45 degrees north and 45 degrees south. Uh, marlin, uh, there's a couple different types of marlin. There's this one that's a deep, rich aqua blue. It's called the blue marlin. There's this one that's even a darker, darker, darker blue. So dark, they call it the black marlin. There's this one that has a very light blue. So white that, that they call it the white marlin. There's this one that the uh, blue on it has the uh, vertical lines on it. It's called the striped marlin. No, you don't need to know all that. Marlin, they have a round bill. Another thing that you got to know about marlin is above their eye, above their eye, they got a twitcher. Above their eye, they got a muscle that's constantly twitching. Why is that good? Go back to human anatomy. You're right. Three-fourths of the energy that makes a muscle move escapes in the form of heat. So if they have a muscle above their eye that's always twitching, it generates a lot of heat. What that does is it makes their eye area very warm. Oh, with tuna, we talked about it. We said there's a relationship between the body temperature and the nervous system being, uh, being a higher developed. Oh, these marlin, they're cold-blooded, so they don't have a warm body temperature, 
but by having a muscle above their eye that's always twitching, it keeps their eye nice and warm. So they develop great eyes. I do. I want you to know that. Brings me on my next one. The next one is the swordfish. What do I want you to know about the swordfish? Is how is it physically different? The swordfish, its bill is flat like a sword. That's the difference between a swordfish and a marlin. They too are big, not quite as big. Uh, they get up to be about 14 feet long. I think the biggest swordfish ever caught was 1,100 pounds. Still big, but they're a little bit smaller. No, they don't have the twitching eye muscle, so they don't have great vision. Now, brings me on my last one, the sailfish. The sailfish, how's it physically different? Is it's got a huge dorsal fin. It's big. Uh, it's also retractable. So it could be big like this and then it could like put it right next to its body. Why? Why does it have such a big one? Well, they're not that big of a billfish. They're only about six feet long. They only weigh a hundred pounds. So then why does it have a big thing like this? So it can look bigger. If there's a shark coming, what it's going to do is it's going to put up that big bill, uh, big uh, uh, dorsal fin, and make itself look bigger. And then the shark won't worry about it. If it wants to scare some forage fish and get them in a tight ball, it's going to put up its big dorsal fin, make itself look bigger, and they'll get scared and they'll start swimming in a tight ball. You know what I want you to know about the sailfish? Well, I want you to know that it has a huge dorsal fin and... I want you to know, it's like the cheetah. It's the fastest fish in the ocean. The sailfish, how fast can it go? Take a guess how fast the sailfish can go. No, you're wrong. It's faster. It's even faster than that. Close. The sailfish goes 68 miles an hour. Holy moly. Ah, that's huge. Uh, that's our quick little lesson today on billfish. Uh, again, you got these notes. You're going to review these notes. There might be a pop quiz coming sometime. Uh, now what you're going to do is uh, up on Google Classroom, I got a couple other videos. Because my drawings suck so bad, I want you to see what these things actually look like in the water. Uh, so I want you to watch those videos. Take no notes on it. Just kind of watch it and enjoy it. And then I want you to do fish worksheet number three. All right. It's our new virtual school. I don't know. It's not the same. I wish you were right here in front of me. I wish you were right here in front of me so that we could get even more out of this. But we're not. We're making the most out of it. All right. Take care, everybody. I love you. Bye.